Honorable Dr. Bladen Zamandi, Minister of Higher Education and Training in South Africa, and members of the ministerial delegation present. The Honorable Dr. Riza Maridi, Minister of Training Colleges and Universities for the province of Ontario in Canada, and other members of the Canadian delegation present. Professor Tian Belawati, President of the ICDE, and other members of the ICDE Executive Committee and Secretariat present. Council members of the University of South Africa, Professor Mandla Makanya, the Principal and Vice-Chancellor of UNISA, and our host for the next three days. Our distinguished domestic and foreign guests present, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning and welcome to South Africa, the Northwest Province. We welcome you to Sun City, but most of all, we welcome you to the 26th ICDE World Conference presented under the carefully chosen theme, Growing Capacities for the provision of sustainable open distance e-learning. We're absolutely delighted that you responded to our invitation and from our side, we will do everything to ensure that this is a memorable and an empowering experience for you. The most appropriate comment on Africa that I read, but of course I am a little bit partial, but it was a comment by Will Smith, the actor, when he visited the country. And he said, it feels like God visits everywhere, but lives in Africa. And I truly hope that the opening ceremony left you with a similar feeling of welcome and awe. Thank you very much. Our sincere thanks, it would be most remiss of me not to do this, but our very sincere thanks to Tyrone Watkins of Tyrone Watkins Productions for an absolutely incredible 45 minutes of pure power, passion, talent, and energy. Tyrone. <laughs> Colleagues, we all know, though, that this is an ICDE conference, and UNISA is only the surrogate host. Therefore, it is most appropriate that at this time, I call to the stage the president of the ICDE, Professor Tian Belawati, to formally open the 26th ICDE World Conference. Professor Belawati, welcome to the stage, and she will be accompanied by our ministers from South Africa, the minister from Canada, Professor Makanya, our keynote speaker, Tracy McMillan Cottom, and a member of the ICDE executive, Jean-Louis Maxim. May I now invite Professor Bellawati to the podium. The Honorable Minister of Higher Education and Training, South Africa, Mr. Blade Zimande. The Honorable Minister of Research and Innovation, Training, Colleges and University of Province of Ontario, Canada, Dr. Riza Moridi. 
distinguished speakers and panelists, distinguished member of ICDE Executive Committee and Secretary General, especially President of UNISA and host of this forum, Professor Manila Makanya, distinguished Secretary General of ICDE, President and CEO of Commonwealth of Learning, Professor Asha Kanwar, the President of Open Education Consortium, Professor James Glapa Grosla, President or representative of regional associations who are present this morning, distinguished fellow presidents, chancellors, vice chancellors, and rectors, colleagues, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to all of us. What an opening act that was, very energizing, and I don't think I will be able ever to top that up. So please bear with my boring, welcoming remark in this opening ceremony. It is, again, a great honor and pleasure for me to be here with all of you at this mega resort, Sun City, South Africa. I am pleased to welcome you to two distinguished ICDE forums, and that is the 26th International Council for Open and Distance Education World Conference and the ICDE President Summit, organized concurrently by one of the leading open universities in the world, the University of South Africa, or UNISA. So welcome again to South Africa. Through these two forums, ICDE is reconfirming, reconfirming again our commitment to the further development of open, online, distance, flexible, including e-learning for the betterment of our lives and the future generations to come. We have come a long way since the time when distance learning was viewed as second class education to what now becoming more and more mainstream in many parts of the world. Nevertheless, as much as we have achieved the recognition that we deserve, we still have many more challenges to address. As we know, one of the strengths of open and distance learning is in widening access of education and make education more affordable. The statistics have significantly proved time and again that open, online, and flexible learning works and effective. Yet, we also know that post-secondary education at post-secondary education level Many are still denied by the higher education system due to the various reasons from both the individual and institutional sides. It is estimated that if we want to provide conventional higher education to those people, we would need at least 100 to 150 million new places before 2025. Similarly, the issue of gender disparity in accessing higher education is still very much in the picture as such, for example, in the sub-Saharan Africa. This shows that we as the player of open, online, distant, flexible, and e-learning still need to further innovate and synergize to further growing capacities for sustainable distance e-learning provision. This is also very much in line with one of the targets of the newly launched Sustainable Development Goals, which is to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all through the provision of flexible learning pathways and the use of ICT as stated in the ancient declaration. During the following two days, through the keynote speeches, panel discussions, and paper presentations, we hope to be able to engage you in, in a lively discussion within the framework of the conference. Again, as practitioners in open, distance, and flexible learning, we know that these education system work well for both engaging learners in quality education and successful education. I hope that we will be able to learn and also share knowledge and experiences from both the speakers and from each other. As the challenge gets greater, the need for collaboration is also higher. With the big task that we have, working together is the only reasonable, reasonable way. Therefore, I also hope that at the end of this conference, I will see some of you talking about partnerships and a possibility of working together on various projects. And finally, please allow me to express my heartfelt appreciation to all of the speakers, panelists, paper presenters for their willingness to share their thoughts and, in, and inspirations. My appreciation also goes to UNISA for the, and the great team under the leadership of Professor Mandla Makanya, who have been working very hard 
in preparing and organizing this conference. Also, I would like to thank to the ICD Executive Committee members for their support and guidance. And last but not least, my heartfelt thank you also go to the Minister of Higher Education and Training of South Africa, as well as the Minister of Research and Innovation of Canada for the province of Ontario for their support and for the attendance in this conference. And lastly, my appreciation goes to all the participants who have taken the time from your busy schedule to come here from all over the globe and take part in this conference. I am very grateful to all of you for coming. And this, with this, I now officially open the 26th World of Conference and the ICDE President Summit. Thank you, and I look forward to interacting with you within these two interesting and exciting days. Thank you very much, and good morning.